And here is the box. Kyosho. Now, I ordered this, I pre-ordered this when it was announced it was released. I waited months for it to get shipped into China. And when it did arrive at the seller in Beijing, Shanghai was already in lockdown and you can't, couldn't ship anything into Shanghai at the time. We are still in lockdown. I think we're around 50 days now, but some items do make it in. And uh, I got this from Ningbo. So I had to order from a different seller because my pre-ordered paid for car uh, was sold to somebody else because the seller couldn't ship to Shanghai. But I guess now that matters now, it's here. Obviously, I haven't peeked in this yet. Um, <laughs> since I'm having so much trouble getting it out. But man, am I excited. This is something I wanted since it was released. All right, looks like it's been packed well. There we can see the yellow and we have boxes inside boxes. And inside those boxes, we have this awesome bubble wrap. All right, let's throw that over there. And let's remove the bubble wrap. Ooh, it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas every day, as, uh, as uh, Kevin Talbot says. All right, let's get, this, let's get this open. Take a look. So I got some cardboard protecting the front. They did do a beautiful job packing it. If anybody's in China and wants to order this, um, the seller has one more, and it is uh, Lap RC, L A P R C, Lap RC in Ningbo. And they can get it into Shanghai. So here we go the new Optima Mid re release. So these just came out in Japan. I think there's one other video on YouTube, and I think this is worthy of an unboxing. And this edition has the Turbo Optima original decals and wing. So, special for the first run. I'm gonna take a look at the front there. There's the triple, the triple. There's the, tur the, the Kyosho Optima Mid, a one-tenth radial controlled electric powered special racing buggy. It's special. So I don't have the motor or anything yet. I plan to build this up as a modern race car. We look at this side and we see a special number, 124437. Mm hmm. And it has a sticker on it from Kyosho something hobby. Hobby Dow. So pretty cool. Kit number 30622. Right there. Alright, on this side we get to see some of the 48 pitch spur gear, slipper clutch. Uh-huh. It's belt drive, so there's the belt tension. Um, Midship motor. It has steel or aluminum aluminum turnbuckles. They look like they're cast. Upgraded, updated shock stays. And the 6061, which is really nice and stiff, T6 aluminum chassis. So it is pretty slick. Let's take a look inside. There, it comes off nice and easy. Just a normal cardboard box. Let's set that over there. And right off the bat, we got our decals, including the Turbo Optima decals. Look at that. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. There's the rear wing. It is ABS, hard plastic, and uh, this is beautiful. I'm not gonna open this yet. I think there may be instructions or it's just, I think it's actually might be just all decals. Very, very cool. So I think these only come out with the first run. Now, below that, we have our classic layout. That's how they used to package everything from back in the day. And this is beautiful. I have to say when I bought my Tomahawk, it was also nicely laid out. There is the body. Classic Optima Mid. We'll just set that in there. 
It's nice, it has the, on the bottom, it has the whole chassis layout. You can see it in the box. Beautiful. All right, so we have a big parts box here. Four wheel off-road racer, Optima Mid. Let's, let's pull that out and take a look. Let's see what's inside this. So it opens up from the end and we shall open it. There we go. So in there, what do we got? We got gear cover, belt cover, kind of opaque see-through plastic, very nice. We got parts bag, plastic parts bag. So our bumpers, our gear box, um, our front A-arms, everything nicely packaged in there. And way down at the end, we have our tires. Ooh, just pull those out. Very nice, they come with foams. I hope Tammy is paying attention. Most of these don't come with foams. Very soft. I plan to put a 10 point or an 8 point, probably a 10.5 turn in this. Hopefully they don't balloon too much. They're quite soft, very nice. Ooh, smells like real rubber. So there's four of those, they're all the same size. Oops, dropped one. One of those. All right, there we go. There's the other two and we have the white rear wing. So we actually get two. We get the black one with the Optima. I wonder if they're the same. The Optima decal set, are the wings the same? Are they just different colors? Yeah, they look pretty much the exact same. Well, that's really cool because this is something you could actually damaged and you can always have a spare one that's in perfect shape. Nice! Right, just set that there and what else in there? Oh, our beautiful, beautiful, I love these wheels. They remind me of like a Volkswagen car or something. I love these spoked wheels. And those plastic, it's got a nice bend to it. So they're not super stiff but it feels really premium. It's hard to describe, it's just plastic but that's a nice blend of plastic. That's all it's in there. Let's and here we have the metal parts tray. And on top, all nice and blister packed, we have those nice uh, threaded shocks from Kyosho shock bodies, motor mount. There we have our transmission, our counter gears. Here we have a huge uh, belt for the belt drive and the belt drive pulleys. There's the CVDs, very nice. And here is the sealed ball bearing set. Very, very nice. So we just pull that off, set that down, and here we have another parts box. So let's see what's in this parts box. First thing I got out is the chassis. Notice how narrow it is. They're very narrow build. And ah, quite stiff. Very nice. Nice countersinking. No blemish, that's perfect, perfect. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, this is our shock kit. We have our springs, some straps for the battery, some silicon 200 CST 17.5 weight oil, a few nuts and bolts for assembling and attaching the shocks. And here we have parts bag B. And it has some gears, has some, um, it looks like FRP shock powers. Very, very nice. Yeah, those are stiff. They're not carbon though. Yeah, FRP. We got the little Tamiya tool. Yeah. What else do we get in here? Um, bag C. Ah, there's the front uh, steering knuckles. See those? Um, the hexes, uh, some little part, I don't know what that's for. Looks like shock shafts in there too. Oh, no, those are for the, the front A-arms to swing on. Uh-huh, let's see what's in this bag. Here we have some grease and some diff gears, all steel diff gears in there. Nice close look at that. Very nice, the cups. And spare parts bag. Oh, a nice little 
bag of screws, which is nice. It's nice to have some Kyosho screws. Very nice. And here we have another shock tower. And the back also FRP. Look at what it's called. Um, another little tool. These are great. Oh, that's nice. I actually bought these myself. Pretty working with the little nuts and stuff. Much better than the T-tool, the Tamiya tool. So this must be one end and the other part is the other end. And that's it. We have completely unboxed this Turbo Ultima. All right, last thing we have is the manual and the normal Optima Mid stickers. So that first set, decal set, was all for the turbo. That was all extra. Let's open this up and take a look. All right. Have a look in here. There we go. Nice manual. Um, I'd have to say Kyosho is number one or number two, depending on which thing I'm building uh, with Tamiya. Beautiful manual, everything well laid out, steps well laid out. I mean, this is quite an exploited view, but you can figure it out. Probably start at the bottom and go to the top on that. Quite nice. Building the shocks, quite nice. Beautiful, beautiful manual. If there's anything, there's all the parts trees. Nice, and I wonder if there's anything special at the back. Got our cartoons, we got our notes. If you want to take some notes in class, there we go. And we have option parts. Aha, uh -huh. dual slipper. Hmm, different oils, different pinions. I actually have like eight or nine pinions coming. Um, I don't know what mod these are. Oh, they're 148s. I think the ones I have coming are like mod 4s. Um, ah, you can get carbon chassis, carbon plate, carbon. They're going to have quite a few option parts there made of carbon. People really want to bling out their, their Optima Mid. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see, what's the pitch? Comes with a 25 pitch. Sorry, 25 tooth, 48 pitch. So that's the actual gear uh, ratio, 8.28. So you can put that up to a 5.75, which is interesting. All right, so that's the manual. Nice books. I have several Kyoshos, and they always come with a really nice manual. So I'm super excited. This is. 1,000%, 1 million percent awesome. Um, I've been waiting for this since it was announced. I was going to get, um, I wanted to get a Javelin, I never got around to it. I did get a Tomahawk. That's right, here. So I have built the Legend Series Tomahawk. There's my Tomahawk. I'll do a review on it one of these days. It's, uh, it's running uh, brushed uh, Tamiya BZ Superstock and on 2S and this thing is killer, killer fast. Um, so I will do a video on these. I must say when I built this one, it was the most enjoyable build I've ever done, building the Tomahawk. Really cool, um, really like the metal, really like uh, Kyosho's classic designs. I have a new Kyosho, it's not, not the same. Um, so I really enjoyed building this. So I am looking forward to building this Optima Mid. So I was gonna get a Javelin, and I never got around to it, and when this was announced, I had to have one. So I had the pre-order in, stuff paid for, and I didn't get it, and there's one shop, Lap RC in Ningbo, and they had two, and I ordered it literally four days ago, five days ago, and it arrived here in Shanghai. Now, Ningbo is not very far away, but in China today, nothing really travels. So I've been waiting two weeks or three weeks since I made the video on the TD2 for my DR, my DR10 to arrive, my team associated that was sent from Hangzhou, which is just a little farther away. And uh, I think it arrived today too. So things can take weeks and weeks. I have some orders going back two months now um, because we've been locked in so long. 
that have not even shipped. So I don't know when I'll get all my other projects done. I am actually building the uh, X Rider Cafe Cafe Racer motorcycle at the moment, which is an awesome build as well. And I'll show you guys that when it's done. Well, hopefully that was a short video. Um, if you can get an Optima Mid, I have haven't built it, I haven't driven it, but I say if you can get one, get one. They're really, really cool. They do cost quite a bit. You can buy probably a new RC10 or a new uh, Losi TLR, Team Losi Racing buggy, uh, two wheel drive at least for probably less money. This cost me about three and a half thousand RMB and I'll look that up on Shea.com and you'll see what that is in USD at the bottom of the screen. Probably cost me quite a bit more than it originally did when it came out. So I'll be back really soon. I plan to have a DR10 unboxing and running video because it's already built. Don't need to buy motors. So uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. All right guys, have a good one.